Okay, hey y'all, it's Denise from BraidersCourse.com and I wanted to come over here and show y'all this new spark outrage about a controversial coronavirus post by a local beauty salon because you know that beauty salons, barbershop, and all of these are going to be labeled and the money is going to become very, very short and limited around here. But I want y'all to leave me a comment Tell me what y'all think about this video. Now, it's going to not be that long, but I want y'all to see this in the beauty industry. Okay, here we go. Let's look at it. About the coronavirus prompts a woman who was offended to contact us. We work to get answers. An Omaha beauty salon made the Facebook post that deals with the coronavirus and the Asian community. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. The post has since been deleted by the business that initially put it up. And reporter Ruta Osanida spoke with the owner to see what she had to say in a story you'll see only on three. Lash Goddess on 115th and Blondo is a local spa that offers lash and spa services. But now the business is under scrutiny. A few days ago, the owner Mia Will shared a Facebook post showing a white woman giving a client a pedicure. The post says, Worried about the coronavirus? Let us do your pedicures. According to the state inspect. Now, as you can see, the post don't say nothing about a white woman. It just shows a white woman. Okay, this is why I'm bringing this to the black community so y'all can see the divide that they trying to cause within the nail industry and with us within the Chinese people and what's going on. So I just want y'all to see the post don't say nothing about a white woman. It shows a white woman because guess what? This is a black owned business. Come on, let's come with it. Sir, our spa is very clean. So I think I go back to anytime I was called a name, you know, it brings up that feeling Julia Geringer's parents are from China, and when she saw the post, she couldn't believe it. She takes it as an insult towards the Chinese and Asian communities. It's not okay to think about a whole group of people in that way. The post and entire Facebook page have since been deleted. We went to Lash Goddess on Thursday to see what the owner had to say. I wanted to give you guys a chance to respond, and we can come back later. Yeah, you know, do you have your number? I would love yeah. to chat with absolutely but when we stopped by later owner mia will did not want to chat with us can i just talk to you for one second instead of talking we stood locked out even though it was during regular business hours standing outside i gave her a call here's why she said she did not want to chat oh you know what let me go ahead and just send the statement right over i am really not a television person in the statement she says Due to recent local and national media coverage about the virus, some of our clients have asked us questions about best practices in spa sanitation. Our approach in responding to those questions has been to share information about our own stringent sanitation practices and how to identify good sanitation practices in salons and spas in general. Will also apologized on Instagram via the Lash Goddess account, saying in part, I sincerely apologize to our Asian sisters and any other race who took my post as offensive. But for Julia, that's not enough. The kind of apology that says, I'm sorry if you were offended, which is a non-apology. It's, it's another thing to say, I'm sorry you were offended versus I'm sorry, I was, I was offensive. Clinical psychologist Dr. Joseph Stunko says anxiety in people plays a role in the fear factor when it comes to something like the coronavirus. But not everyone is that way. Actually, I think that's a smaller minority than, than the number of people who can overreact. It's important to note the coronavirus is being carefully monitored here in the U.S. and there are no confirmed cases in Nebraska at this time. Reporting in Omaha, Rudolph Sinaida, 3 News Now. But it's important also to note that um, you have to have safety and sanitation practices. And people called her, as you can see, and asked her questions about the safety, good, identify good and health safety sanitation practices. So I just wanted to show y'all the quick divide that they were quick to cover amongst races on this new coronavirus so 
um let's move on to the next video that i want to show y'all here where the the coronavirus is affecting the black girls getting their uh, products us getting our weaves us getting anything from that seriously in our area to the law it's no beauty is something that is very important to a lot of people but this buoy based business owner says lately beauty has had to take a back seat to global concerns over health i just never imagined coronavirus would affect me being in the states and it's you know not directly as far as getting sick but just like my business district chevelle wallace's business relies on hair from china to make extensions and wigs but she says she's had trouble placing orders for hair overseas with her vendors Wallace said one order she placed in mid-January still hasn't been delivered. I mean, finally reached back out to me and basically said that due to um, the virus, everyone's, I'm guessing, quarantined and they're not able to go to work. Other businesses gave us similar stories, too. But the scarcity of hair on the market isn't the only problem that local hair care businesses and customers face. Wallace said she's noticed some vendors outside of China are now increasing their prices for hair. The price point is just much higher. And then there are the customers who are wary of buying hair from China altogether. Wallace says this is a question that keeps popping up. When they get the hair, is it going to be contaminated? The CDC has not directly commented on how Chinese hair products may be affecting the spread of the coronavirus. But its experts have said there's likely very low risk of spread in products that are shipped over a period of days at ambient temperatures. Leslie? very low risk did y'all hear that it's likely he didn't say it is it he said it's likely it so let me go over here and show y'all what what we all know for communicable diseases being that we have uh practices that are in the public the nine u.s corona patients and four who died have ties to the nursing home let me find this thing and cut it out because i'm sure many report frustration despite their physicians best efforts okay so on her as you can see let me get it up here so y'all can see it this is the nursing home where the virus is spread and here is how the outbreak may have spread in washington okay so they was all working at this nursing home now at this nursing home now all the workers all the people in the nursing home everything they, they had four people die they got all the people that's there but as you can see they're blaming i'm gonna show you where they blaming the outbreak on they're blaming the outbreak on right here here, here here's how it happened since the coronavirus virus can be transmitted through bodily fluids like saliva or mucus right people living in close quarters can easily pass the virus to one another patients at the life care share a dining room barber shop beauty salon library petting greens and according to the center's website okay so this is what they trying to say because they went to their website they saying that they could have got the it and when they sit down to eat, they get it when they go into beauty shops and barber shops and, and libraries where everybody at. Okay, so this behooves to all beauty shops and barber shops to get the lights out, clean the, clean the doors, clean the, everything, every five minutes, every time you can. Wash your hands, get you some, um, not only just wash your hands while you shampooing the client, wash your hands, period. Use, um, wet uh hand sanitizer i know at one point people was banning hand sanitizer but now honey i believe you need to get some because this carnivore virus is a form of pneumonia okay uh an online statement said that the residents that were evaluated had temperature cough and shortening the breath and was being placed in isolation okay so most of your people might go into isolation or may go into self-quarantine you know because firefighters who did vi visited the facility around the time of the outbreak was quarantined so that they family can't get it because you know firefighters already live together so now they quarantine they can't even go out and get fired okay so you know that if you get in contact with a person that has this stuff you're gonna need to quarantine yourself from your family from your job and everything else and like i just showed you in the previous video where it's already shortages on weed and then it's already argument that if the black people start going to the black girl shop instead of going to the chinese people for the feet 
and the eyes, uh, eyelashes and things, then these other people going to send out their media to ban that. So I just wanted to get this out to y'all and y'all to see and know what's really going on out here with this coronavirus. Again, my name is Denise Jarrett. I'm with BraidersCourse.com. Uh, you can check me out. I have a whole bunch of videos over there, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.